Hello, explorers. Last time we met in the beautiful city of Paris. How exciting you have joined us again to explore the big city of London. My name is Carly Grimes, and I'm the illustrator of Travel With Me and See. And my name is Nancy Delavoie, the author of Travel With Me and See. Are you ready to go and search for the queen? Big Ben is ringing and we cannot resist seeing your city next on our list. It has always been a little dream to come to your kingdom and meet the queen. Fancy and proper, often wearing a hat or crown jewels, the queen looks after the United Kingdom she rules. Marching around the city to the beat of Big Ben's clock, we will search for the queen. Tick tock, tick tock. First, we must go and meet Little Dove, our loyal guide who explores a lot from above. Little Dove is at Hyde Park with his English friend Rose. If we have questions about the queen, the answers Rose will know. Rose's great, 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 great grandmother flew messages for an ancient king who made a scepter in her honor. The scepter is topped with an enamel dove in her likeness. Used at coronation, it symbolizes spirituality, peace, and kindness. Hello, Rose, I say. What a pleasure to meet you. It is too wet a picnic. What should we do? Rose has a recommendation. We might fancy a shepherd's pie near King's Cross Station. A shepherd's pie, I ask with surprise. What kind of berries are filled inside? It's not a pudding. We wouldn't eat it for dessert, giggles Rose. Inside is a lamb stew topped with cheesy mashed potatoes. Well, I've never had a pie that wasn't sweet, but it is really quite good and such a treat. Outside, I noticed the royal standard flag on top of Buckingham Palace. I questioned, but is that the flag used for the queen's special status? Yes, replies Rose. That special flag is only flown above the palace when the queen is home. Rose explains, right now is the changing of the guard and getting anyone's attention might be especially hard. The guardsmen are specifically trained to neither talk to people nor to entertain. They won't crack a smile nor look you in the eye like little toy soldiers they simply observe people passing by. Little Dove notices, hey, the flag is coming down, so that means the queen is no longer around. I suggest maybe the queen fancied seeing some football at Wembley. Let's catch a double-decker bus and we will go and see. There are lots of fans here to watch this big match. But no sign of the queen, we must start over from scratch. Rose then suggests, why don't I fly back to find the queen's itinerary? I'll meet you both at 3 p.m. in front of the Royal Observatory. Good idea, I say. We will head to the Royal Muse. The queen loves her corgis, but adores her horses, too. Just then, Little Dove cries, Watch out, Bee! The football is headed our way! Don't worry, I assure him. A quick kick from my boot and the ball is back in play. Thank you, shouts the players from the field. Little Dove adds, Bee, you make a wonderful shield. Now off we go again, marching to Big Ben's clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Her Majesty's horses are really quite impressive. Look at this one. His face is so expressive. I exclaim to Little Dove, say, what's that shiny thing just beneath the hay? It kind of looks like you, wouldn't you say? Little Dove responds, why, it's a royal scepter. The one inspired by Rose's great, 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 great 
Grandmother, it belongs to the queen and we need to give it back. For now, let's keep it safe in your trusty red pack. In 20 minutes time, we have to meet Rose on the famous Prime Meridian Line. As we jump on the tube, I call out, hold on to your rain cap. And the loudspeaker adds, mind the gap. Little Dove is excited to share. Birds use the meridian when navigating quests. It's the imaginary line dividing the world into east and west. Longitudinal lines make Earth look like an orange with many slices. Together with latitudinal lines, they coordinate our world map in GPS devices. The Royal Observatory Greenwich sits near the longitudinal line of zero. The location coordinates the world's clocks between here and cities like Rio de Janeiro. Using this time zone map, we can calculate the exact time in Los Angeles by subtracting eight. If it were 12 p.m. in London and we were eating lunch in the park, it would only be 4 a.m. in Los Angeles and the sky would still be dark. Suddenly, Rose appears like a Sherlock Holmes detective. I overheard the guard say that tonight the queen will attend the Shakespeare play. First, she will stop at the Tower of London to select something to wear from the crown jewel collection. That is perfect, I reply. We found her majesty's royal scepter and at the tower we'll give it back to her. Chop, chop, tick, tock. Quickly, let's head to the River Thames dock. We don't see the Queen's flag flying over the tower, but do you see what we've spotted stuck in rush hour? The Queen's special carriage is on the tower bridge, and racing them by boat gives us quite the advantage. To the Shakespeare's Globe we go. That's where they're performing the love story of Juliet and her Romeo. At last, we bow and curtsy before Her Majesty and thank her for her kingdom's kind hospitality. I declare, Your Majesty, we were visiting the Royal Muse and found this scepter that belongs to you. The Queen replies, Thank you for your courage and honesty, but I must tell you a little secret. This is only a copy, the queen continues. The real scepter is safely tucked away and it will only appear on the next coronation day. However, tomorrow, if you three are free, why don't you join me for a cup of tea? I reply with excitement, oh yes, it would be our greatest honor. And just then, the first actor begins to holler. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to begin. I can barely hear them. It is as if I were in a dream. Pinch me, please. Did we just meet the queen? Parting is such sweet sorrow that I shall say good night till it be morrow. The next day at the palace, the guards welcome us in, but still without a smile nor a grin. Endless photos adorn the entry wall, including a picture of the Queen with Sir Paul. He is a member of the Beatles, whose music is loved by many people. Big Ben chimes the time of four, and just then someone opens the door. In we walk to the most exquisite room, filled with more tea sandwiches than we could ever consume. With a warm smile, the queen says with such sincerity, thank you again for being great examples of honesty and integrity. In appreciation, I bestow upon you this guiding jewel that shines in blue. It will inspire and protect you upon your adventures and further remind your heart to love and appreciate all different cultures. With honor, I reply, 
We will carry this gem with pride, Your Majesty, especially as we soon embark on a lengthy voyage across the sea. Thank you for joining us in London. We can't wait to see you in New York.